The Fischer esterification reaction can also take place in an in intramolecular fashion, as we'll see in this lecture. So let's suppose we have the following molecule which has an alcohol component as well as a carboxylic acid component. Now if we take this molecule and mix it with an acid such as hydrochloric acid, we produce an ester molecule. Now the question is, what exactly is this ester product and what is the reaction mechanism? So the first step of an acid catalyzed esterification reaction is basically the addition of the acid and the protonation of this oxygen. So in step number one, we have some type of acid. So let's suppose our acid is hydrochloric acid. So we take this acid, we mix it with this, and in the first step, we have the protonation of this oxygen taking place as we discussed in the previous lecture. So we produce a resonance stabilized intermediate. So let's draw this intermediate here. We have the benzene ring, we have our alcohol, we also have the protonated oxygen, and we have our OH group here. Now this is resonance stabilized because we have a charge here and so this charge can be basically delocalized onto this carbon as well as onto this carbon. So we have a charge here as well as a charge here. And the way that we're going to represent this is by using the following symbolism. Okay, so this is resonance stabilized. Now in the next step, what happens is this alcohol part of this molecule is close enough to this carbon of the carbonyl to basically form a five member ring to form a bond between this oxygen and this carbon here. So in the next step, we have this acting as a nucleophile attacking this carbon, placing the two electrons onto this oxygen here. So in the next step, we have the following molecule that is formed, this intermediate. So we have the oxygen, which basically contains our H. We have the bond, this is the new bond that is formed, and we have one hydroxy group and a second hydroxy group. So in the next step, because in step number one we form our chloride ion, so we have a chloride ion here, in the next step we have to regenerate this acid that we began with. So in step number, so this is step number one, step number two, and step number three, we basically deprotonate this oxygen placing our two electrons onto here. And we basically remove the positive charge that we have on this oxygen oxygen here. So we form the following intermediate. Okay, so in the next step we can either protonate this oxygen or we can protonate one of these oxygen here. If we protonate this oxygen, we basically go back in reverse. Remember, this reaction takes place in this direction as well as in reverse. So basically, we take our HCl molecule and this HCl molecule acts to protonate one of these oxygens. So let's suppose we protonate this oxygen here. So these two electrons grab this H, displacing this bond, and we form a molecule that basically converts our poor leaving group, the hydroxy group, into a good leaving group, our water molecule. So the intermediate that is formed basically looks something like this. So one of these groups is still our hydroxy group, the other group has been converted into this water molecule that now acts as a good leaving group. So basically in the next step we have this is a good leaving group so this bond basically deprotonates, it breaks off, or not deprotonates, it just breaks off, it dissociates and we form a water molecule as well 
as an intermediate compound. So we have our benzene, we have our oxygen here, so one of these has left and now we have the following molecule here. And of course, this will have resonance stabilization. So we basically have a bond formed here. So our positive charge can either be here, it can be here, or it can be here. So the charge is delocalized among these three atoms here. So we have the resonance stabilization taking place. And finally, in the final step, we have the deprotonation of this oxygen taking place. Either this water molecule deprotonates this H, or the chloride ion that was produced in this step basically approaches this region here and deprotonates this oxygen. So we have a negative charge deprotonating this H here, these two electrons, placing our two electrons onto here, forming our double bond here. And so the final product that is formed is in fact our ester. And it looks something like this. We have our double bond here. So basically, if we compare this to this, in this case, we have the H atom attached to our oxygen. In this case, we have a hydrocarbon R group attached to this car to this oxygen. So we basically go from a carboxylic acid, which is here, to an ester. So this is our ester. In an intramolecular Fischer esterification reaction. So basically this shows us that esterification reactions can exist on a single molecule as long as that molecule contains the carboxylic acid group, the alcohol group, as well as the product that is formed contains a large enough ring. So in this case we have a five member ring that is formed and a five member ring is stable enough to actually exist by itself.